Ladies and gentlemen, so I've had quite a few requests for some raw Blitz gameplay in Marvel Strike Force, where we also do a bit of a commentary on some of the decisions that we're trying to make in various matchups. Just some, like, me sitting down and playing Blitz gameplay, essentially. So I thought today, for a little bit of fun, uh, we can actually jump into the Orb Assault Blitz and get the full 200,000 points in one sitting, build up a streak, kind of take it uh, from the very basics as well and play around, you know, with a lot of different teams, a lot of different characters, and just have a little bit of fun today, really, uh, while showing off, like, a very, very wide variety of gameplay. Uh, so, yeah, we're gonna get stuck in, man, get start building up the streak as soon as possible, which means we have to start with a very, very fun characters. And I say that with a sarcastic tone, because they are uh, a, little, a little bit wet noodle down the bottom, eh? Uh, but, you know, we'll get to some of the interesting stuff. So we have, uh, what is it, the majority of the aim characters here, and uh, Hydra Grenada as well. At this point, we can really pick any team. Just really looking for the most flimsy one. It's probably... Uh, I don't know. They've all, all got a couple of tanks to this one. But we'll just go for this one here. And get, what is it, Punisher and Spider-Man down. And then finish off with the... Um, uh, Electra, Shield, Medic, and also Luke Cage. So taking a bit of a beat him there from Spider-Man, but it's just so, so easy in terms of the multiplier and difficulty at the moment. There are not too much challenges presented. I think we'll go for Spider-Man first. I don't think even at this level, actually, uh, Spider-Man has his, uh, what is it, third attack that stuns. But there we go, cleared the defense up off Punisher. Just going in with the Aim Infector now, and I think we'll gun Electra down while we have the opportunity to here. Uh, go for the, uh, oh, we can only go for Luke Cage because of the taunt at the moment. We'll just finish him off, and there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, easy game, easy life for the first match up there. Not too bad, and that gets five characters out of the way, and also pushes us onto, uh, uh, what is it? Yeah, one of, uh, one of the first notches in the streak multiplier. So let's get Aim Assault there, Hydra Rifle to Trooper, and then I like to try and incorporate uh, some characters that I don't necessarily think pull a lot of weight when it comes to some of the other uh, later matchups, like Ravenger Stitcher, Scientist Supreme. Uh, who else do we have that isn't isn't doing too much? We're gonna chuck Shield Medic in there. I'll put Shield Medic in my next matchup, but we'll also put in Cree Oracle. Uh, just have some uh, really really easy characters on a, again a very very another. Uh, another win that's going to be relatively straightforward and quick to do. And we're at the point in my roster where uh, every character here is uh, just above level 50 now. So I ha have a lot of characters at level 51 very, very randomly. I went for the final milestone in one of the level up events. And here we made the decision to switch from uh, Spider-Man to Daredevil because of Daredevil's defense down. Uh, so we can get a little bit more damage there. But Spider-Man and Daredevil really are the two targets that need to drop here. So let's see if we can, uh, oh, unfortunately Luke Cage used this taunt. Actually, he doesn't have uh, his ultimate ability maybe at this at this level, so that's why he's taunting uh, a little bit earlier. Okay, let's flip those buffs on Scientist Supreme. Is this going to be a difficult one to win? <laughs> Hopefully not. There we go, Hydra Rifle, two Trooper, dealing some damage there. Let's get the speed up on the Aim Assaulter. I was hoping we could get, um, what was it, Daredevil down before that, but there we go, Daredevil's down now. Let's give Spider-Man, finish him off. And now we're in an easy territory here. We just need to finish off Wolverine uh, just before he gets to his ultimate. Uh, don't need to necessarily worry about the heal up at this point. All fairly straightforward. Just face roll there to deal with. Shield medic down. Gun in on the loot cage. There we go, man. He's going to be in the bin in absolutely no time. Not too bad, ladies and gentlemen. Not too bad at all. I'm really excited for Scientist Supreme buff, man. Maybe one day she's going to be a relatively interesting character, but not really pulling out a huge amount of weight for now. Uh, so let's move on to the next team where we need some uh, we need some more right ones here. So we've got Shield Operative, Hand Archer, Hand Assassin, and also throw in, let's get a tank in the mix as well. A bit of Shield Security here as well, because those minions can play quite well off each other. And uh, it's a bit of an annoying team there. So I think we'll just go ahead and go for this uh, this fairly standard spy. Spider-Man, Punisher, Luke Cage, Shield Medic, and Electra team here. Just because I didn't want to have to deal with a Nebula or Shield Operative being super, super annoying in these matchups uh, where you have characters really with only one hit. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, gun down the Spider-Man here just to try and prevent him from getting to his uh, second attack. 
actually. Might have been a, an alright idea to focus Punisher at the start. He might have might have gone down there, but there we go. Spider-Man's out of the way now, so that's not too bad at all. I want to slow down the Punisher. Let's uh, get some maximum value out of that shield operative there. Just get our sniper undercover. And we are going to get rid of the buffs here. Get rid of that defense down on Punisher. Use the big snipe there. Can we get him down? Oh, unfortunately not, man. So close on the... Um, Single target with shield security there. However, when the next shield security turn comes around... Oh, actually, no. Shield medic sealed up the Punisher a little bit, so I'm not too sure if we're going to be able to cleave him, but we'll give it a try. Yeah, it's a little bit too weak, that cleave, isn't it? Yeah, so we just have to try and blast through this loot cage, and uh, then get loot cage and Punisher down at relatively the same time, I would imagine. There we go. Pop him off. Deal with that. Go for the shield medic in. Single target there. And actually, let's just switch to Electra, get her down while she's out of stealth and potentially vulnerable there. And uh, yeah, not going to enter stealth for the next turn. We are good. Shield Medic is down. And now we are on the uh, the crucial match, which decides whether or not we're going to go up to the next point multiplier. Now, for this match, we want to make sure we have a team uh, that is full of some uh, some pretty stocky minions. So let's have Hydra Scientist, Ravenger Boomer. Uh, let's also get Mercenary Riot Guard. And then I kind of want... Uh, some nice damage deal. Actually, if I have Mercenary Soldier and Hand Sorceress, then that's uh, a good enough combo to finish it off. Yeah, that should be, uh, I reckon that should be fine. Okay, let's go for this first match up here. Got, uh, instead of the, uh, the, what was it, Electra, we got Daredevil here. I think Daredevil is a little bit more threatening in a lot of Blitz matchups than Electra. Uh, because that first turn, man, really, really hits hard. So yeah, I think our priority here is dealing with the Spider-Man. Just before he gets to his third one, let's use the defense up. That should hopefully absorb a bit of damage from Punisher as well. Mitigate on it quite a few opponents. Uh, do we want to use the heal here? We'll get Spider-Man down. Let's go for get Spider-Man down. And let's use the defense up just for a little bit of security there. We didn't necessarily need it. I mean, it's still a, a, f a fairly easy match, comparatively speaking. But uh, you can never play it too safe, ladies and gentlemen. Never play it too safe. All right, let's go for this Punisher. Get him down. And uh, Luke Cage has got his torn up. The cleave isn't going to hit anything because of the way that Luke Cage is positioned. So just attacking single target here. Let's use the death proof and heal up just for a little bit of additional security there. And yeah, there's no way anybody in our team is dropping after this, so we're good. Let's get Luke Cage down and then finish off the uh, the shield medic. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. I just want to chuck auto on at this point. <laughs> Maybe not. Auto, I guess it's good if you've got a lot of cleaning up to do. Uh, that's just very, very face roll. It's not too bad for that scenario. And to be honest, you could probably auto win the majority of matchups that we've played so far. Like, you know, the Blitz, uh, in terms of its difficulty, does start off, like, really, really easy to deal with. But it's always making sure you're playing to uh, a relatively efficient level. Okay, let's have a look. There's definitely nobody else that we've missed in the roster. So we're kind of just going up. Uh, you know, we don't necessarily need the hardest hitting characters at the moment. So we're going to chuck in uh, Ronan on this one as well. Because Ronan is just a very, very deadweight character. And this is the first matchup of the next multiplier. So yeah, we'll just get him out of the way. Uh, and none of the matchups here are too great, so we're going to go for Azim. But we do have four opponents here that are super, super annoying, especially that Crossbones. But I don't know if Crossbones is going to be... We're going to go full nuke on the Crossbones, just in the, in the scenario that he has his explosion. But at this level, he shouldn't have ex explosion until the second turn. One of the things that uh, you very quickly learn at level 60 is Crossbones is a huge, huge threat when it comes to the Blitz mode. Just because he has his, his explosion like uh, the very second turn, so that is just very, very lethal. But the third turn explosion, it's not, it's not too bad to deal with because there are a lot of ways to... Um, what is it? Slow him and stun him and deal with him uh, within three turns below at level 60. But once he gets up there, man, oh, it can be a bit of a pain in the ass. Just wanted to use that heal there on Ronan. Uh, might have been an alright idea, actually, just to attack into Luke Cage. Yeah, that would have probably gotten down there. Ah, oh, well, <laughs> you can never be too safe, I guess. Right, let's uh, just finish off Luke Cage if we can. Let's get him out of the way, sort out this Punisher. Don't worry about the taunt here. Use the area of effect on shield assault just to remove Spider-Man's evade as well. Clip off this Punisher here. Get Spider-Man down if we can. Need the Ham Blade Master coming back around. Man, that damage is pretty swish. Ooh, not too bad, not too bad at all. 11,000 off those double hits. Yeah, Ham Blade Master, man. He's got some alright damage. 
Uh, I think the, the, just, the, the biggest problem with a lot of minions, just comparatively speaking, is that, uh, you know, a lot of heroes have a lot of damage, but then they also have tons of additional interesting uh, abilities and interactions alongside that. It's one of the biggest, uh, biggest things there, but this team, man, is pretty, um, uh, pretty damn good for blasting down... Uh, some very annoying targets quickly. Actually, this team is. I, I want to wait till the next match for this one and go for a bit of a, a bit of a noodle setup here. Some champions that maybe are a little bit lagging behind. So do I want to get shield medic in as well? Is that gonna be a little bit too much for this team? Let's get shield medic and also. Uh, I feel like I need like Hulk and Hulk and Iron Fist, the two characters to carry for sure. So maybe we need to mix it up a little bit. Add in a little bit of Punisher there, and Nebula as well. <sighs> you know what, screw it, let's chuck in a little bit of Nebula, why not? And uh, let's see what teams we have up against here. So none of them that are really too great. I'm just kind of making my decision here based on what I believe would be best. Oh god, all these teams are really annoying. Okay, I think we're just gonna go screw it and go for this one and try and nuke that Crossbones down if we possibly can. But uh, I reckon that might be uh, a little bit, a little bit tricky. Do you want to go full nuke on the crossbones at the start? Just thinking about the speed and interactions of this team. Like a lot of my B teams, man, I'm not super versed on what's going to be the best order. So yeah, screw it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just go for. Uh, let's tap in the quake actually, and hopefully we get the chain on there. Uh, unfortunately not. Right, actually, let's. Uh, we can probably get that quake close to uh, close to going down. <laughs> there we go. And maybe line sync up uh, good potentially with Hulk smash. So let's use the energy up. Is energy going into Hulk? Oh, unfortunately, I don't think we got energy into Hulk there. So let's. Have we got any stuns from the opponent? Okay, we don't have any, any stuns, so we're going to use the taunt on Hulk there. Just because he can absorb some stuff, and hopefully our Iron Fist can push through that crossbones. A almost there. And luckily, we don't have to worry about that second turn explosion, which is fantastic at this point. So let's go ahead and taunt on the Luke Cage here. Just attacking single target to the Hulk. Fortunately, we can get Quake down. Oh, we got the Death Proof as well. Oh, man. Mistakes were made. I should have gone with my intuition and just gone full nuke on the crossbones right at the start. But I am mildly convinced that we might be able to ring this one back. Okay, I need to pick my target very carefully. Right, we're going to go for Hulk. See if we can nuke him down very quickly. <laughs> and then go for the Wolverine. And then go for the, the Thanos. Again, these are, these are some of my hardest champions to carry wins, even at this level, man. Okay, come on, let's attack in. And, uh, okay, do we want to go for the smash? Let's go for the smash, because I know that that will kill Wolverine. Maybe we should have waited until next turn. But now I think we're we're good with Thanos, because Nebula, Nebula, this is the reason I brought her to this team, because of the 1v1 brawling skills. I knew it would come down to something like this. Let's use that Hulk on Taunt. Hopefully, this is the messiest match that we have this run. But anyway, let's pump that in and just keep on attacking in single target. But there we go. We've carried uh, carried some of the, the most noodle characters and the most uh, unblitz friendly characters to a win there. So that's that's all right there, ladies and gentlemen. And that's why I decided to go for that team uh, well, one round earlier than the other team I'm going to go for next. So we're going to go for, let's get in a little bit of Bullseye at the moment. And then I'm also going to bring in my Night Nurse and Wolverine as well. And we are also on the lookout for Thanos. I've been upgrading quite a bit of my roster recently. Uh, so the position of some characters has changed around a little bit. And then I think finally the character. Uh, we've either got Shield Medic or Vision to bring here. So I think we'll, in this scenario here, we'll go for uh, Vision. Just because we can use the Shield Medic with um, the five other super strong single target damage dealers. So yeah, here we've got a lot of very, very unfriendly matchups to potentially deal with. Just trying to think in terms of timing, who's going to be the best one. Oh, okay, screw it. We'll go for this one, man. This one is, we just need to get through this Drax, really. And we can block his taunt on the second turn with Vision. Uh, so I think that's probably the way that we're going to look at dealing with this. So I'm going to save Bullseye's uh, double throw just toward the next turn. Let's heal up on Night Nurse there, get the value. Try and sustain as much as possible. So we've blocked Drax's taunt for the next turn, but we haven't dealt with the taunt available at the moment. Uh, let's get, just get the taunt up on Thanos. Because he's uh, a pretty, pretty sturdy and resilient character just for being a giant brick wall for Eternal 2. 
Okay, let's uh, think about who we want to get down now. Is it Hawkeye? Uh, Quake's going to have her turn, her ultimate, fairly soon. Like, these four characters <laughs> all really need to die quite badly. Uh, see if we can snipe Hawkeye here. Oh, very, very close. Okay, I think we can uh, use Vision here, and that'll finish off Hawkeye. And let's go for Quake before she has a chance to use her ultimate here. Punch him with a Thanos. And now we've got one minion on Yondu to deal with. Let's just quickly get him down before he gets a turn. And then firing on the Yondu. Just try and get him down as quickly as possible. Uh, so we've got Piercing here. Do we want to use that? I, I think it's really going to deal a, um, a hindered amount. But you know what? We're probably going to have to nuke through this Drax anyway. Use the ultimate there. Fire off the ultimate on Bullseye as well. The ultimate's really wasted in terms of their potential value there. But hey, we got the Drax down. We can finish off Yondu and then get rid of Gamora. So, yeah, that was that was alright, man. Getting through that team. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. But again, these are some really, uh, like, C or D team characters, I would uh, define them as. Uh, especially when it comes to Blitz. I know Vision, you know, he can potentially be quite useful and stuff. But in comparison to what we have going on in some of the A teams, man. Just not pulling the uh, the same weight quite in comparison. But now we have the Kreez boys. Uh, with also a little bit of Shield Medic thrown in the mix. So I'm having a look. Uh, to try and find who's probably going to be the least lethal matchup. And it's probably John 2073. Uh, but this matchup will revolve us getting the crossbones down uh, before he can fire off his explosion. Because if he does fire off his explosion, then uh, we might be in a, a little bit of trouble here. So we're just going to go full nuke, single target on the crossbones. And once all the Krees get their turn up. Wanna, yeah, let's 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 go for that. That should allow us to get another turn and snipe in on the crossbones here as well. Also get some uh, value out of that offense up. Hey, not too bad. That Cree Reaper, very very nice hit there. Uh, let's see if we can burst down the Spider-Man. Unfortunately, not before Hulk got his torn up. So now it's just attacking into the um the Hulk here. But I think we should be good. There are no super super big damage threats. Hulk Smash might be uh, might be something that comes into play. I think it most likely is, actually. It's probably going to get our Sniper down here. There we go. RIP to our Sniper Boy. And, oh, the Kree Noble was holding in there for a second. Uh, but unfortunately not, ladies and gentlemen. Right, is the second... Can he evade both hits? I think he only evades the first one. So there we go. We got some damage through on the second one there. <laughs> not too bad. But Spider-Man, he needs to die, man, before that second round of stun. And now we need to get Wolverine down. And if Thanos is just left on his own while we have Shield Medic up, then he's not really going to be a problem at all. So let's get, get the, uh, the Wolverine down if we can. Oh, no, he got his torn up. That is super, super annoying. Uh, okay, we have uh, we have uh, we have a good amount of hope left. I reckon it's still it's still not a clear cut game. Double shot on the Wolverine. There we go. We can get Thanos down now. This shouldn't be a problem. Like Thanos, outside of his ultimate abilities, is a uh, <laughs> a very underwhelming character. Those basic attacks just way too easy to deal with. So yeah, not too bad, not too bad at all. And that pushes off onto the uh, the tier 3 multiplier here. Now, we are actually moving on to, uh, what is it, my five infinite blitz teams now. And we're going to be starting with the first of them, uh, which is the Mercenary Lieutenant, Doctor Strange, uh, Cable, uh, Deadpool, and also Black Panther as well. Just in terms of the positioning, I don't think there's really, <laughs> I don't think there's really any uh, super positioning strategy I have here, or anything that's going to make too much of a difference. To be honest, it's just kind of uh, very random with this one because we have no tanks in this team. Have a little bit of a look. Want to ideally find somebody without Drax at the start. Okay, what do we have here? I think we'll go for this one, just because Thanos and Crossbones are a little bit too annoying to deal with. But we do have um, three very high-value targets here in the form of uh, Crossbones, Quake, and also uh, Yondu. So I think what we'll do is we'll attack into the Crossbones, because that's going to guarantee damage to both Crossbones and Quake. So we want to get two of those down, and also with the Deadpool turn, it's also going to slice and dice both of those. Kind of hoping it went back to Crossbones and Quake there. Okay, who has the nastiest next turn? It's probably Gamora, so let's apply the um, the offense down to her. That will really gimp a lot of the damage of her big snipe going on there. And uh, we get the turn in here with Cable. We're just going to use the single target attack. Uh, and let's use the Assassinate on Deadpool just to guarantee that Crossbones goes down there. We're going to use the offense down on Yondu just to reduce the effectiveness of his ultimate. And let's attack him with a Black Panther here. Unfortunately, oh, we're so close to getting that Quake down there. Um, okay, what do we want to use? Is it just like full damage on this one? 
Uh, actually, no, we can. Can we cleave the quake? Is this is this gonna hit enough? If Char okay, I think I think we can hit quake from this one. Oh, it didn't. It it didn't. Oh, man, I thought it'd go that far with charge. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna we're just gonna take some damage there. Again, this is my newest infinite team, so we are <laughs> we are learning a little bit with this one. Right, let's flip the uh, the buffs into debuffs there. This should give us a uh, good opportunity to get some of these characters down. We're just gonna deal with the Ravengers on Black Panther here. Dude, that level 60 Black Panther perk is very, very much needed. Uh, we're going to wait for the next um, turn with Cable to deal with Hulk, because that ultimate should be able to absolutely rinse through him. So let's go ahead and use the heal on Doctor Strange. Bring our Merc Lieutenant back into the mix. Let's get the uh, the Ravenger Boomer down there. And yeah, maybe just chain between both of them. Just like it's been ages since that turn on Cable. But there we go, got Hulk down, not too bad ladies and gentlemen, not too bad at all. So that brings us, how many points are we up to? We're out 22,000 now, but we're going to ramp them up very, very fast now that we're at the top of the roster. So let's have a look here, this is probably, probably our best matchup right now. So yeah, let's go for the uh, the Crossbones and Yondu are our two priority targets here that we want to get down as quickly as possible. Um, who who should we nuke into first? Let's let's just probably go full ham on the crossbones. I think that makes maybe the most sense here. But uh, that Wolverine is some some good positioning there because he's going to eat up any additional cleave damage just with his regeneration over time. Uh, who's got the most lethal next turn? Maybe actually Daredevil's not. None of the characters are really going to be doing too much there next turn. So yeah, let's just use it for a little bit more damage on the old uh, crossbones there. And um. Is that speed reduction going to help anywhere? Actually, no, the single target in with the offense up. That was going to get crossbones down there. <laughs> Just making sure. Okay, let's go in for the Yondu now. And, oh, not the not the best timing overall. Actually, no, that works perfectly with Deadpool's Assassinate. Lines up really, really nicely there. All right, let's go in and just full nuke on the Hulk here. Oh, man, that was so close to getting him down. All right, we triggered Death Proof there with Black Panther. Let's go ahead and flip everything just to make sure Hulk doesn't get his next turn. Get Hulk down, go for the Daredevil, and then we are going to finish off uh, by sorting out that Wolverine there. Right, let's use the heal up, get everybody topped up, get a little bit of speed up, get a little bit of offense up. And I'm not too sure why we used the ultimate there. I guess it had a little bit more damage maybe than the basic. Actually, if we got the second shot, the basic would have been a little bit more there. But hey, it didn't matter, man. The match was, the match was won at that point. Um, okay, let's have a look for the next matchup. Man, we are not getting the nicest combination of teams today. I think we'll... Uh, go for yeah probably this one we do have the the crossbones and yondu as the priority targets here but also two tanks captain america and also thanos and i'm a little bit concerned always about that daredevil in the back man because daredevil's damage especially over the course of a fight can really really start to ramp up quite a bit but let's go full nuke on the crossbones and hope it works so i'm just going to use the uh the offense down here on thanos because he's got his big single target where he gains taunt next turn as well so that'll mitigate some of the damage there um and yeah just attack in straight with cable there not too bad looking forward to fully upgrading my merc lieutenant but hopefully this should finish the crossbones off deadpool's assassinate man just such an mvp clutch ability there uh let's get the um counter attack up on black panther and also offense up for another turn. Oh, that Yaka Arrow. Hopefully my Doctor Strange can stay in the game. Um, what do we want to use here? Do we want to save the Ultima? I, I really want to get that Yondu down quite quickly after. But this, yeah, I, I think that's not going to have enough value on Thanos there. I might have might have made an incorrect decision there in hindsight, but we'll we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully we can line up um, Cable's next turn quite well to uh, clear out the Yondu. Or, yeah, I think it's probably going to be the Yondu that we want to deal with. But, right, let's get down the Avenger, Ravenger Boomer. Uh, and we're in a bit of a dire situation here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, okay, let's go for Yondu, man. Okay, Yondu's down with the ultimate there. Let's try and finish off Thanos if we can. Come on, we're going to get the additional turn. Yes, lads. Not too bad. Fire in. The damage is going on. Oh, okay, come on. Nice chain, nice chain. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, what we call clutch. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. 
Oh, Deadpool, Deadpool and Cable, man, really, really bringing that team back from the brink uh, from a very, very unfavorable matchup. But here, we we actually don't have a bad matchup at all here. This one should be should be all right, providing that the ability energy from Captain America uh, doesn't land, like, super unfavorably in, like, Quake or something. So, yeah, I'm just trying to think um, what would be best to nuke here. I think we'll go for the Yondu, actually, right at the start, because then we can guarantee some cleave damage on the Hawkeye, who, again, is kind of a bit, a bit of a priority target here, because if he gets a really valuable blind, that could be super annoying. Uh, who has the most damage next turn? It's prob probably Yondu. No real big threats that are coming up next turn, though. Right, let's use the speed up on Merc Lieutenant and hopefully get some nice offense up. We didn't get offense up on Cable. A little bit unfortunate there, but there we go. Lines up a perfect kill for the Black Panther. Actually, should have used the second ability there on Black Panther in hindsight. Just going to use the offense down on Quake just in case she gets ability energy from Captain America. Also use the slow. And can we get Quake down? Oh, it looks like, yeah, we're going to be able to drop Quake, actually, before Captain America's turn. So that's awesome there. And uh, what do we want to use here? Yeah, the ultimate's a little bit a little bit wasted because Captain America has defense up. And now we can flip the buffs. And now we want to get Hawkeye down if we can. He's blinded my Cable, my Doctor Strange, and my Black Panther. Oh, mate, that value, that blind value, a little bit, a little bit ridiculous, but there we go. We're going to waste a few turns in. Actually, we can heal up on Doctor Strange, just get everybody topped off. And you can see, man, so much easier to deal with. Captain America goes down. We're going to apply the speed up now, slash in on this Night Nurse, get that single target. Big boom on Cable and Deadpool while they both have offense up. Easy game, easy life, ladies and gentlemen. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Right, let's see, we're at 40,000 points now. So uh, we're getting on the, or get, getting, getting uh, very near those big point multipliers. Now we are gonna go for my favorite team to play, just for pure enjoyment, which is the Suicide Squad, ladies and gentlemen. So this one, uh, positioning is important. So we're bringing in, uh, what is it? Four crossbones, and also we're looking for Rocket Raccoon. Now I wanna get our Jessica Jones, and also hand sentry and actually I want to do a little bit of positioning swap here I want to get uh, my crossbones right next to the hand sentry just because I don't want any cleave stuff going on to rocket raccoon because he needs to survive the longest out of everybody ideally speaking uh, okay let's go for this team this team should be too bad there aren't uh, too many tank threats in our way in this one we just have um, uh, four very uh, flimsy high priority targets so let's start off with, ideally, we don't really need to worry about the Yondu in this matchup. It's mainly like the Quake and Hawkeye that need to uh, drop quite quickly. Okay, can we have some ability energy into Crossbones? And unfortunately, we didn't get any into Crossbones, which is always a tragic scenario. But Quake goes down, and now we're going to try and get the Hawkeye down. Because again, Yondu, using his Yaka Arrow, is literally only going to hit the Hand Sentry. So that really doesn't become much of a threat. And for dealing with his minions... Um, do you want to use Rocket Raccoon's ultimate here? Yeah, why not? Let's blast some damage into Yondu. Let's get um, Captain America. Use Crossbones' as big AoE. That deals with the Yondu fully there. And let's try and get Gamora down. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Not too bad, not too bad. Very, very uh, smooth and efficient team, man, just for blasting through this stuff. Again, this is the this is the easy matchup so far. I'm sure once we get to the uh, the final one, it's, it, it may be a, a little bit of a fun time, a little bit of a clutch matchup going on there. Okay. What kind of... Oh, I'm trying to avoid... <laughs> I'm trying to avoid a matchup with Drax. But it doesn't look like that's going to be a possible scenario. So let's go for this one here. Where we have a uh, Crossbones to deal with. Uh, he's, he, he's our big priority, really. Yeah, Crossbones. Just get him down as quickly as we possibly can. But unfortunately, he's right on the other side. Do we want to use the cleave here? Or just... I think we'll single target nuke into the Drax. Get a, a ton of damage on him while he doesn't have his defense up active. I think we got... Oh, we didn't get ability energy on crossbones that time either. Mate, we have been relatively unlucky with how some of this uh, ability energy is falling. Right, crossbones. Okay, we just need to nuke him down. Let's use the big hit on four there. Get some, get some nice juicy damage popping off. Use the ultimate on Rocket Raccoon there. Crossbones might use his area of effect next turn. If this crits, we might be able to get him down. Unlikely. Come on. Oh, we got Crossbones this turn here. Beautiful. Gets everybody down. <laughs> not too bad. Not too bad. Let's get everybody back in stealth. Oh, a little bit clutch there, ladies and gentlemen. A little bit clutch. Because if Crossbones had his next turn, I, I can almost assure, be assured that he would have detonated. 
but luckily we got the speed roll on that one. I think even if Crossbones was detonated, there would have been a good chance we could have won that one back with uh, how we were in terms of our team set up and shape. Right, let's go for the next one. Just got Captain America here as a tank. Generally, I find I'm, I'm, I'm not too fussed about taking on, like, uh, four, like, high-value targets, as long as there isn't, like, a super meat shield at the start. So Captain America, he, uh, yeah, surprisingly isn't, isn't too bad to play around in a lot of scenarios in Arena. But sometimes, man, his ability energy, it can fall into the wrong places and screw you over. Sometimes you have a Black Widow, man. Be a pretty lethal combo there. Right, let's make sure. Let's try and stun the Captain America here. Uh, Captain America, yeah, just to make sure he doesn't get his torn up and ability energy. So I think that was the uh, the right decision to make, hopefully. Do, uh, also, we didn't get another turn one explosion on Crossbones. This is some of the unluckiest I've been with Crossbones in a while, because Jessica Jones is sending out ability energy for days. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how uh, <laughs> that's how a match of that team goes. Oh, mate, that's be it's just beautiful, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Can certainly appreciate it. Um, right. Let's see. We have. Okay, let's go for this one because it's either like it was either Black Widow or, or Dead of all that I was trying to uh, weigh up which one would be less hassle. But yeah, Black Widow man can sometimes, especially with the stun and her ability to speed up all the other characters, and Captain America can be uh, a little bit problematic there. Oh, mate, that was a sick turn from Rocket Raccoon. Damn, boy. Two ability and energy into crossbones, ladies and gentlemen. And let's uh, just single target, just make sure we get Dead of all down there. Why not? Easy enough to finish off. And use the ultimate on Rocket Raccoon. Is that going to get Yondu down? Unfortunately not, but we're very, very close now. So let's just use the, the taunt up on Captain... Uh, sorry, not Captain America, on our crossbones for extra security. Fire off the hammer, get Yondu down. Was hoping to cleave Cap as well, but unfortunately not. But there we go, finished it up. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Damn, man. That, that, uh, that team went for a few good rounds, man. A, a really, really good few rounds. I uh, certainly, certainly enjoyed that. Okay, let's move on to our next team now. So do we want to go for another single target one? I, I think we will. Let's go for the, the Quake, um, Hawkeye, and we want to build into this position here. Korath, Electra on the side, and then Kingpin as well. So let's go against this matchup again, which is the uh, the fairly fairly standard one that you see of uh, Yondu, Quake, Gamora, Hawkeye, and Captain America. So we're going to start off by focusing on the Quake here. Use the ultimate on Korath. Boosh! Oh, that's a beautiful hit. Okay, because we got Quake's cleave now. Oh, we don't want to get Electra in stealth. Um, actually, I'm going to save the dis dispel for a little bit later. So we're going to attack the Yondu as well. Because now I can apply slow, and that'll, uh, yeah, deal with, deal with all those opponents. <laughs> and also get that one down. Uh, do you want to use the Force Taunt on Yondu here? Well, let's just use the slow. And there we go, Yondu goes down. Now I just want to deal with the Hawkeye, finish him off. Damn, man, that was an insane crit from our Hawkeye's uh, standard attack. With offense up, I think that was about 26,000 there. Oh, beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, let's apply the blind there, just to get some maximum value, and finish off Gamora. Uh, there we go, we just need to tidy her up. Summon a couple of bodyguards, just to assert dominance, really, at this point in this matchup. <laughs> but this is also the uh, the first one on this, uh, this multiplier streak as well. Okay, there we go, finish off with Electra, just nuke into the Captain America. Sorted there, ladies and gentlemen. Right, I kind of tempted to speed it up a little bit, because I know we've been going for about 30, 33 minutes at the moment. It's going to be a long-ass video to upload, but this one shouldn't be too bad at all. Got Night Nurse here. Any team with, like, Night Nurse or Ronan or Iron Fist always kind of, like, irks up my eyebrows, because it's uh, a relatively easy one to deal with. I think here we'll go for Yondu Rocket Raccoon in terms of priority and kill order. So let's use that big shot there on Korath. Just absolutely punching in on turn one. And I don't think Quakes is going to be quite enough. So we're just going to get in stealth here in Electra, And then once we apply the slow, that'll get Yondu down. And let's just nuke in. I actually should have used the Force Taunt there on Rocket Raccoon. However, next turn with Hawkeye, we can get right through that Taunt and back onto Rocket Raccoon here. Actually, let's use the ultimate. Just snipe down <laughs> Black Widow there. It was just too good of an opportunity, man. I couldn't pass that one up. Okay, let's dispel on Quake just to remove the defense up there. Um, use the blind just for a little bit of security. 
Quake's Ultima. Just carry us home, really, at this point. Let's get that Captain America down, just in case she's out. Uh, because, yeah, Night Nurse really just isn't much of a threat when she's left on her own at all. So let's go in. Big single target. There we go. And finally, just finish off that, that matchup with Night Nurse there. So, yeah, a couple of very, very smooth wins so far. Touch wood, ladies and gentlemen. We have, we've had a couple of very, very clutch matchups. Uh, but that was, you know, when, when we had the, some of the weaker characters as well. But going up through, uh, you know, onto some of our, our main, uh, very, very tried and proven teams now. We are, we're doing all right, ladies and gentlemen. We ain't doing too bad at all. Right, let's just continue to punch upward, though. Okay, so we have, in this matchup, um, the Quake and the Yondu are both quite big problems, especially with uh, the Black Widow's speed up. So let's go for, let's go for Quake, because I, I can take a Yondu turn, especially with Kingpin, but if Quake starts slowing uh, and then uses her ultimate, then our team's uh, a little bit screwed. So let's apply slow to the left-hand side, get quite a bit of value from that. Now I want to try and nuke down this Yondu and just clean up the Gamora as quickly as we possibly can. But there we go, that'll get rid of his uh, defense up from the Captain America. Oh it, it, oh, it didn't. Okay. Right, we'll remove it with Electra then. We should be able to get him down before he summons some Ravengers. Nice little uh, standard attack there with Quake, actually. Let's apply the blind. Hopefully that lands on Gamora and Black Widow and Captain America. Very nice. Right. Okay, they shouldn't be too much of a problem then. Let's just finish it up. Use the Earthquake. So this is uh, this is why I just really like that this team, man. I feel like just a lot of stuff really, <laughs> really lines up. Because I did have, especially when I released my Infinite Team videos, uh, a bit of criticism about, like, not having traditional synergies. Uh, but it really is a case of uh, just a lot of abilities weaving in very, very, to, uh, very, very well together to allow you to take, take control of various matchups and playing to the strengths of uh, all of the characters that you have. Right, let's have a little bit of a look. I think it's maybe this team I want to go for. Yeah, Jessica Jones shouldn't be too bad unless she puts... Uh, actually, she won't put ability energy into Crossbones first turn when playing the character because she's always going to use her... Uh, ultimate ability. So it's just full nuke on the crossbones. Here we just need to get the crossbones down and also the Thor down and hope that Winter Soldier doesn't snipe too hard. Let's apply the slow there. I'll have some crazy value until the next turn. Need to be a little bit wary of that Jessica Jones beast. Just punch in, punched into my Kingpin, which is like the absolute perfect scenario there with the Winter Soldier. So I'm super, super happy about that one. Uh, have we got offense up on Elytra? Okay, the single target should be enough. Oh, it wasn't! Okay, it's, it's fine. We can just finish it off. <laughs> uh, right, let's apply the slow to four again. And can we finish off this Elytra quickly? Okay, I'm just going to aim now the Winter Soldier. Hopefully it applies to him. Let's get Elytra down. Summon a couple of bodyguards on Kingpin. Let's go for the Force Torn, just because that has a little bit more damage as well. Get the uh, the earthquake just for some damage here at this point. Like it's it's pretty much a guaranteed win now. So there we go. Snipe the uh, the Winter Soldier. I probably could have got the satisfaction of one shotting the Jessica Jones there, but Winter Soldier is definitely uh, the priority to get down as Jessica Jones. I would say. So there we go. Cleaned up that matchup pretty damn nicely. Are we moving on now to the three times multiplier? So let's go to uh, the Minion Swarm team here. Actually, let's see how many points we're on. We're on 135k. So yeah, I probably don't even need to play much of one of the two teams that we have left. Uh, right, let's have a little bit of a look. So we've got Yondu, Black Widow, want to bring in Daredevil here, uh, Nobu, uh, oh no, 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 it's Drax right next to the Black Widow, and then Nobu uh, to the left of Daredevil. Okay, so that's going to give us some resilience against chain attacks, and I think we're definitely going to go for this one because of the Night Nurse and no fear of the Yondu. It's really just kind of um, immediate AoE characters that you want to avoid with this team. This team is um, a very much a, a minion swarm team. Uh, okay, I don't really want to uh, yeah, use the ultimate, so let's get the counter attacks up there. Hopefully, maybe get a little bit of value out of those as the fight progresses. But now the full nuke is on Quake. Let's see if we can get her down. Yondu's area of effect should clear up Quake nicely there, so not too bad. Let's get the taunt up on uh, Drax. So we can absorb the hits of both Gamora and also Black Widow. Uh, do we want to 
Uh, summon minions? Yeah, I think we should just summon minions here just to get the value. Just either kind of push through the taunt and get Gamora down or summon a couple of Raffingers. Some Raffingers, man. Just want to get those going as quickly as possible. But there we go, we got Drax down. Like this matchup again is fairly in control. As long as you have Drax up at the start and you can protect your Yondu, your Nobu, and they can keep summoning minions. Like it's just easy game, easy life. But yeah, Nobu is uh, one of the more tricky characters to get because you have to rely on that that wonderful premium orb RNG, very much like Black Widow at the moment. So hopefully they have some more accessible ways to get Nobu um, in the future. Okay, so let's do maybe another couple of matchups with this one. Um, can we have? N yeah, I think this sh this should be fine. Black Panther is always one that you know I I he's definitely the character I think that we need to get down first here. Oh, kind of priority target. But Ronan, his hammer attack isn't usually strong enough unless it crits uh, to get uh, any minions down. There's not really too much to worry about there. We're just going to use hand. Actually, let's not use hand minions again. It's hand minions because we can just get them down all next turn. Uh, especially if uh, Drax's taunt is sticking, so you can just absorb some damage there. Let's use the taunt up there. Um, apply. Actually, let's just make sure that Black Panther dies. Ah, oh, no, I should have just applied the counter attack and then got him down next time with Yondi's ultimate. Uh, hindsight is uh, a wonderful thing, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get this bullseye down now, because it's... Ah, we can stun the Iron Fist before he gets his next turn. So just finish off bullseye, Iron Fist. And then it looks like we're forced to... Oh, we're uh, not forced to attack him to ruin him. <laughs> okay. That's Iron Fist. He got a little bit lucky with that revive there. Uh, yeah, let's just get Ronan down before his next turn. Finish up on the Nobu here. Summon a couple of Ravengers just to assert a little bit more dominance over this team. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Sorted in an absolute heartbeat there. Not too bad, not too bad at all. So now that we get into the, the final few matchups, uh, let's just switch to my Balls to the Walls Burst team, which is my favorite Blitz team to play, man. I just absolutely love this one. Just smash out a few matches, maybe go a little bit over the top as well, uh, just to make sure we have like plenty of points to make sure we fall in that, fall in that top 500 for all the premium orbs and stuff. Yeah, our priority target here is uh, getting Crossbones down. Yeah, let's just immediately attack into him. Go for it. Okay, there's quite a bit of single target here. Actually, our ability blocked on Captain America, so I couldn't even use the taunt if I wanted to there. Okay, let's use the area of effect, just because there are three targets with defense down, so there's a lot of damage value on that one especially. Um, I don't want to line up here. Hmm... Okay, I'm gonna. Oh, I was trying to. I was. I didn't really need that to crit, to be honest. I was hoping to line up a good turn with Gamora. Let's go in and attack into the uh, the Winter Soldier. Maybe he has the best chance of dying. <laughs> I don't know. He's got quite a bit of armor. Yeah, I'm unfortunately not there, ladies and gentlemen. So let's uh, stun up Bullseye just to prevent him from getting closer to that ultimate. Uh, let's use the taunt on Captain America just for a little bit more additional security. Um, do we have another turn before Winter Soldier? Actually, you probably just need to get him down now. Too much damage, man. There's too much damage on this team. And I didn't fully utilize it in that matchup. But there we go. We can get a nice nice little cleanup turn here with uh, Gamora. Get that Night Nurse down. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Well, let's move on to the, uh, the next matchup here and see what we have. Oh, this one should be an absolute treat to deal with. So yeah, just in terms of kill order here, I think we'll go with the Hawkeye just in case he gets ability energy from Luke Cage and blinds our entire team. But uh, then see who else is uh, who else is nearby and where the shields are landing. Uh, yeah, let's hope that uh, chains on. Unfortunately, not quite the direction I wanted it to necessarily. Okay, this should be uh, a good turn. Oh, that, that hit quite a bit harder, man. Winter Soldiers is going for it. Unfortunately, that Hawkeye just didn't quite die there. So we're just going to finish him off. And there we go. We just got Bullseye and Daredevil to deal with. Let's use the ultimate on Iron Man. <laughs> There's just too much single target damage here, man. It's crazy. Okay, ambitiously. Oh, we got the kill there. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Ooh, usually I'm used to like being on the four times multiplier and like punching like a lot higher with these teams. So yeah, it's good fun, man. I need to do a, a what is it, four times multiplier grind at some point as well. So ladies and gentlemen, if you did enjoy, are enjoying today's video, which has been uh, quite a long one, a massive, massive compilation of all sorts of blitz fighting. Uh, yeah, let me know what kind of uh, more blitz gameplay you'd like to see.
Uh, let's go for this one, just because we're we're already already above two hundred thousand. But I thought, you know, just just uh, just to finesse it, and show a few more matches. We'll go a little bit higher as well. So right, let's jump in for that rocket raccoon there. Fly defense down, and hopefully the Captain America shield is going to follow the same way. <laughs> oh, it didn't quite. Could have maybe aimed it dead of a way, but there still wasn't any guarantee. It was going to go for rocket raccoon there. Let's use the team up. And, oh, we should be able to get a really nasty punch into that dead of all that. It's probably going to get him down as well. Look at that, 52,000 damage, man. Oh, not too bad. Gamora cleaning up there. Oh, damn. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. There we go. Gun Captain America down. It's just easy wins, man. Easy win after easy win when you got the, the right teams, the right setup. Uh, so, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's going to be absolutely fine for guaranteeing us uh, that 11 to 500 spot there. I don't know if at some point, it's not really worth, like, spending the, the refills to go to uh, <laughs> 110 in this one. You know, it's probably better off... Um, just, uh, just buying an orb, which is still, like, not really that great. So let's go ahead. Let's just open a load of these. Get get some gold. Get some shards. Uh, again, there's not really, like, too much I'm searching for. It's just mainly the gold out of this stuff. And additional, like, loot cage shards and all character shards. Just to get them fully topped off. Because uh, one of the, the biggest things that I'm grinding toward is the Ultimus Orbs to get, you know, those those new character shards that come in, like, right after the release. And also uh, more shards for Ultimus there, ladies and gentlemen. But that's it. That is it for the uh, the final milestone in Arena. So, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed this 45-minute mega video today, just grinding out some Blitz and Marvel Strike Force. If you did, uh, feel free to smash that like button. That would be greatly appreciated. And, yeah, let me know in the comments below what Marvel Strike Force gameplay you would like to see on the channel. Apart from that, ladies and gentlemen, take care and have an absolutely fantastic day.